at this thing. I can just do that. Happy Vlogmas Day 3! We are opening up advent calendars. And it's a cozy Sunday rainy morning. Me and Seb are chatting right now. Um, first one we're gonna open, Anthropology. Have to find number three. Oh my god, I can't, okay, here it is. Oh, big. <laughs> Very big. Ooh, it seems like a product. Oh, I've heard of this brand, Neom Organics Magnesium Body Butter. I love oh. magnesium. Oh, it like makes you go to sleep. I uh, maybe lavender, jasmine, and sandalwood. Mmm, I love that. Thank you, Anthro. Okay, next up, Free People. Free People has been crushing it. I got like a cool pair of socks and then earrings yesterday. So let's see. We've got December third. <laughs> okay. Madame Gabriella. Uh, oh, clean luxury lipstick. What does that mean? Clean beauty. Oh my god, it's a stunning oh, bottle. Red. Maybe. How do you. Eh. I'm not so sure how to open this. <laughs> I'm not so sure. If it was red, that'd be fun, actually. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it is. How'd you know? I don't know, I just figured that was like a holiday. I think I smushed it a little bit on the top. But it's a beautiful red color. Wow, thanks for people, Madame Gabriella. And then lastly, we have Lositon, which I love Lositon. And then you open it up like yeah, this. how do you pronounce it? Yeah, how do you think, Lositane? I don't know. Lositon? Or something? I've never actually tried to say it. You learn something new every day. When you open this one, it literally smells good. Okay, I can't find number three for some. Oh, okay, I found it. <laughs> Yay! Ooh! Cherry Blossom Shower Gel. Today's a big product day. Love. Love. It's a cozy, rainy Sunday morning. Like I was saying, I just got off the phone with Seb. At noon is when the CFP committee releases who the top four teams are going to be for the playoffs or semifinals i guess um george is not looking great but i have it on because i need to <laughs> anyways we are in need of a sunday reset i honestly haven't done a sunday reset in a hot minute so we're gonna do it we're gonna clean the sheets we're gonna do all the things i'm still on my pjs which i probably will be for a while and then ryan and i had a whole festive day planned but since it's raining we pushed it back and we're gonna do it like this evening, which I think doing festive things at night feels even more festive. So we're gonna do like Bryant Park Village, some Fifth Ave action, I think. I'm trying to decide what to tackle first. I just put on my Dennis Gross face mask for three minutes. It's like the red light therapy. We'll see if it does anything. Um, I'm loving this guy, except I don't know. I want it, like what if I wanted it vertical? I don't know how it, Maybe I need to turn, like maybe it's locked right now so it won't switch with you. I don't know, I need to kinda, I just don't know what to tackle first, you guys. Oh wait, I totally know what I need to tackle first. I like already started putting stuff in my washer to just get that laundry going. So I might as well just start it. So I have all my darks in there right now. And then after that, I'll do my sheets. Or I probably, actually I have another set of sheets that I can put on the bed, let's do that. Okay, I'm about to make the bed, and I remember that I have more sheets from Brooklinen. This is my favorite, the Core sheet set. You guys know I've had these ever since I moved to New York. I literally went to the Brooklinen store in Brooklyn with my mom. We had a whole day. She was like, wait, I'm obsessed. Mom, if you're watching this, shh, don't listen. I don't know why I said shh, don't listen, because 
I'm getting her her own pair of Brooklyn sheets and towels for Christmas and she's gonna freak out because she's made comments about it for so long. For my dad's birthday, I got him Brooklyn and sheets and he's been rubbing it in her face. <laughs> so she'll be really excited. But anyways, I'm about to make my bed. It's Sunday and I wanted to shout out Brooklyn and because I love them so much. Thank you Brooklyn and for sponsoring this vlog. So since it is the holiday season, I wanted to share my favorites with you guys in case you want to get something for your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your boyfriend. I think I'm also get actually it's gonna be a Brooklyn and Christmas because my boyfriend said I got him his own pair of Brooklyn and sheets last year and he was like I want more so I feel like that was him saying get them for me for Christmas. <laughs> um, I got him like a gray set of the Core Lux sheet set. So with the um, hardcore set, you get a duvet cover, you get the sheet set, and then you also get more pillows. I love it. It literally feels like you're sleeping in a hotel bed. Whenever I have guests and they stay the night with me, they're like, "What is your bed? Like it is perfect." It's just crazy when you think about it. You spend one third of your life in sleep, so why not make sure where you sleep is an ultimate oasis and your sheets feel amazing? <laughs> and the sheets don't just like feel good, they also can look amazing. They do look amazing because you can mix and match 20 plus colors. So if you're like, I want, you know, a pink duvet cover, but I want white sheets, you can totally do that. You guys just know how important it is for me to make sure my apartment feels like this sanctuary, this safe space for me. I just love upgrading my home in any sort of way because I, this is like where I recharge. I also have the super plush towels that are actually incredible. This is like a nice light color and then I have a darker color, like a tan in my bathroom right now. They are amazing. They feel like hotel towels, which I love so much. And then I also got more of the super plush hand towels. They have so many different bundles and sets. Like they have like a move in bundle. So if you're moving in and you have nothing, or if you just need a little upgrade, you just want the two towels. Like there are so many different options. It's so customizable. You can save 20% by purchasing a hardcore bundle instead of buying all the individual items. So that's why I always suggest the bundle because I feel like usually when you're getting new sheets, you also want, you know, a new duvet cover and new pillowcases. And again, I just think the Luxe Sateen sheets are the ultimate upgrade, but they also have so many different types of materials. They have linen, they have cashmere. You can get 15% off of your first Brooklyn and order by using my link down below. So click that to do a little shopping. Thank you again, Brooklyn, for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna go make my bed now with my new sheets, but I just had to shout them out because you guys know how much I love them. Okay, got my kombucha. Kombucha weirdly like calms me down. They're about to announce the top four teams. I'm mentally preparing myself. Like, I don't expect Georgia to be in necessarily, but I can hope, okay? And then we'll get back to the Sunday reset. Oof, I'm nervous. Oh my God. Oh my God. Reveal them, please. Again, Georgia's won the last two years national championship. I'm not like gonna be crying upset because we did lose. Ultimately, we did lose yesterday. It's the only game we've ever lost in 29 games. But uh, a girl can dream until they say something. It's not real to me. So. Show Reese Davis along with Booger McFarland, Joey Galloway, Greg McElroy, and Kirk Herbstreit. So Kirk. You're usually the most powerful man in college football at the moment. Can they please just say it already? I have things to do. He will get the rankings before anybody else. Okay, they still haven't announced it, so we're just gonna move on with the cleaning. Who's number four? Oh, just show it off. Oh my god, this is the longest show ever. How do people do this every year? Alabama should be the injury, the injury, the injury. Let's look now at number six and see who's been eliminated and see what the final decision came down to. Who's number six? No! Georgia will not compete in the playoff and this is also... Well, I held on to my glimmer of hope. And voila, my bed is made. It's now time to play my weekly game of Mancala. I started and then they started doing the announcements. <sighs> I wish I didn't even watch. Who would have thought I'd be so freaking into football? But you know what? Next year, if you guys didn't know this, and then I'll, I'll actually stop talking about football. Next year, the playoffs will be 12 teams. This year, it's only four teams, and they're changing it. So, like, if this were this year, we would have been playing. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm really happy. I'm really happy for Michigan. Ryan's mom went to Michigan, so we're definitely going to cheer them on. And that's that. But, um... Yeah, 
I always hate doing my supplements every week, honestly. It's just, I don't know, I always put it off. And then there's like a few days where I'm just not taking my supplements, so, you know, that's not good. But we are doing it now. just finished drying and tell me that doesn't look like that's someone's face I'm so spooked <laughs> ah! that also means I have to fold all this now otherwise it will wrinkle but that's fine I'm fine so a little bit later I just finished cleaning Sunday resetting I mean there's still like laundry loads being happened I haven't like done everything laundry related but both the washer and dryer are working and doing their job right now I just took a shower and I'm just standing here on my computer using this Skinny Confidential. They're called the Pink Balls. I'm just deep huffing because we have live shows this week. We're going to Dallas and Austin. I'm so excited. I can't like believe it. I just can't. Um, and I'm actually standing here. I'm doing two different Secret Santa gift exchanges. One with some like influencer pals and another with, well, I guess some of them are influencers too, but like another friend group. Um, so I'm just realizing that all those exchanges are gonna be not this week, but next week And I know what I'm getting all my peeps, but I just need to post and I just feel like these people could watch my vlog So I'm not gonna say who and what I'm getting them So I'm just placing this order now and then I'm gonna start getting ready because Ryan and I have plans tonight Okay, hi I'm about to start getting well, I am starting to get ready and I Was watching TikTok as I do as a lot of people do um, and I came across Zandra's video and it was like how I get the perfect slick back pony and I was like that's self-explanatory but no she gave because it's easy to do the slick back but when you're trying to keep the part in I find it really hard and that like way that what Sophia Richie Green showed where you like keep the pieces in the front that's just not for me like I just need to bring it all back in one fell swoop so I'm gonna try out what Zandra said which basically you keep your part the best you can and you kind of just try to get your hair where you want it to be. Um, but like you don't slick it all the way back yet and you just secure it with a ponytail and then you go in with the gel and really slick it and then undo the elastic and redo it all. Like keep it, you'll see. I'm just trying it out. This is not my tutorial. I'm just trying out another tutorial I saw, but I'm trying to keep the part. Ah! This is tough. So I'm just gonna like loosely secure this. And then I just got this day cactus fruit and one, fruit, fruit and one, three and one styling cream. Oh my God, I am so well. I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow. I can't wait. Um, so I'm just, oh, ew, it's on my face. I'm about to do my makeup. That was a little too much probably. Um, so you're just supposed to like slick back your hair the best you can. And then what I'll do is, cause this allows me to just kind of be messy. I'll undo the elastic and retie it, but more snatched. But this helps me like get it where it needs to be. You guys are like, this is not revolutionary, but to me, it was. So, let's see if that helped. The part is kind of still intact. This is probably such a non-flattering angle. I'm wearing like one of my unique low heat tech long sleeves. Okay, this definitely helped. I'm not sure if I wanna do a ponytail or a bun. I've always called the little bumps in ponytails dinosaurs, like since I was younger. Like, I'd be like, to my friend, like, oh, you have a dinosaur? And it was like our code, like, 
fix your hair. I don't know. <laughs> we called them dinosaurs. It's just what we did in like high school, not like when I was little. I mean, I still have a dinosaur, but whatever. I feel like I want to do a bun. I ended up doing a bun and then I just did super minimal makeup. I did the YSL new skin tint. No lashes, literally just blush, concealer, lipstick. I didn't even put on powder or anything. Oh, and some highlight. Put in these earrings from Love AJ. And then I think, and I just have like black faux leather leggings on with this black long sleeve. And I think the moment is going to be this new jacket I got. And I have to decide my shoes. Ryan's heading over now, he said. I'm feeling like being comfortable, obviously, because we're going to Bryant Park and stuff. These are Steve Madden, they're just comfortable and they're warm. Or I could go sneakers. Updates to come. Okay, so here's the coat I wanted to wear tonight. It's from the brand Helsa. Wait, let me go to the other mirror to show you guys. And don't get me wrong, I'm obsessed. It has this like cinched waistline and it goes all the way down, but this is very much giving Matrix. And we're having like a wholesome night, Bryant Park, Fifth Ave, holiday season. So I. Just I think Ryan's gonna be like, okay, secret agent. I just think this isn't the cute, cozy Sunday outfit we wanted. Okay, I've decided on this jacket. It's from Lamarck. It's like a dark brown. I don't know if you can really tell in this lighting, but I like that it's a little bit longer because I'm wearing like leggings, so I, I don't know. And then wearing the Steve Madden boots. I switched actually into these hoop earrings because the other ones felt too fancy for this outfit. I feel like this is like chill. And it's still a little rainy outside, so I don't know. I don't know if this is necessarily a wholesome outfit, but I'm gonna bring the same Zara back so I can fit my umbrella in it. Bring on some perfume. And I'm excited to have a little a little night. Do I need to touch up the lips and we're good? Phone. I purposely didn't really have, di well I didn't have dinner, I've just had cottage cheese and a protein shake. Um, and I told Ryan not to eat either, because I want it, every time I go to Bryant Park, I've like just eaten, like the Winter Village, and they have so many amazing food stands, so it's like we could do a little food tour for dinner. So he was like, okay, I will not eat either, so he's probably going to be hungry. But I'm excited, it's only five o'clock, but it feels so late. I'm like, it's a school night, it's Sunday night. And tomorrow's actually gonna be a really fun day, but. We have things to do. We have festivities to explore. So let's go. All right, so we're here. Ryan is wearing a beanie today in remembrance of the dogs because his Santa hat's for Georgia and it just... And it's in the wash. Literally. And it's in the wash. It's in the wash. So don't worry, Santa hat is here. But I actually like the beanie on you. Um, so we're going to do a little, not crazy food tour or anything, but we're going to eat. And I was like, let's start with savory and then go sweet. So let's find... I don't really like pickles. Do you want a pickle? Is that Grillo's pickle? Let's find something else. Holiday pickle would be bad though. He goes, a, light, a nice holiday pickle wouldn't be bad. Okay, we decided on dumplings as our appetizer and I feel good about it. Appetizer number one, we got the mixed order of dumplings, chicken, pork, and veggies. Everything's like wet, <laughs> so we're just gonna stand and eat. Or Ryan's gonna hold it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> He's looking for a new Santa hat. All right. Oh, that one looks good, actually. Oh, this is too funny. <laughs> Next up, we have paella. We're splitting the paella. It's so nice because usually at restaurants, paella, they like require 40 minutes to order time. This was ready. Okay, 
Hot cocoa taste test. The best. Mm-hmm. Is it the, actually the best? It is very creamy. Nothing is as good as that Disney hot cocoa we had, though. <laughs> it was, that was crack, awesome. honestly. Mmm. <laughs> Wanna try it? It's milk chocolate. Oh, my lipstick. <laughs> Yummy. It's okay. It won't. It shouldn't affect you. Very good. World's best cup of hot cocoa. Congrats. This is so cutie. Oh, it's, it's dense. Good? No. Got chocolate filled? Let me tell them. You want to try? Sure. We are now on Fifth Avenue. I thought it was going to be closed off, but there's definitely cars. I don't know, maybe it stops at like 5 p.m. It's every Sunday Fifth Ave's closed off on certain streets. It's totally raining, but I'm just ignoring it. But we're here. Woo. I'm just going to pretend it's snow. Yeah. Yeah. We're right near the tree, and it's such a lovely night I enjoyed it's way more fun going to the winter village or any of these markets if you're hungry because like you walk around and it's all food or shopping and if you're not really planning on shopping and you didn't and you're not hungry like I don't know it's still like a vibe but definitely I think it's fun we had the dumplings we had uh, paella we had all different foods which was really nice and then after we walked through like Fifth Ave trained home but I found a really unique gift um, there was like a golf related store. It was like gifts for the golfer at uh, Bryant Park. So you can turn it on, Ryan. Um, so they come, I got these. So it looks like a little golf ball. This is just the case, but it's a little marker. So if you have any golfers in your, f and it says Freddy. And uh, usually the guy in Ryan was telling me that they'll just like put a quarter down to mark their spot, but. This says Freddy, and it's so cute. And then, yeah, you just stick it in the green. So, I got one for him and my mom's boyfriend, too. Ryan got one for his dad. So, it was a great little gift moment. Chiefs game is tonight, and I'm like, is Taylor Swift going to be there? I feel like she could be. I haven't seen anything yet about it. I haven't talked to her yet. You haven't talked to her yet. So, we're going to watch a little bit of that. I have a really big day tomorrow because um, Brooke and I are doing a really exciting interview on TV, which it won't be up until Thursday, and I'll, we'll definitely be posting about it. Um, so I'm really, 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 really excited about that. So I need to prep, because we have to wake up early tomorrow. We're getting our makeup done. Tomorrow's gonna be just a super busy day in general, because I'm gonna pack for Dallas and Austin. So if any of you guys are coming to our Dallas and Austin shows, I'm so, so, so excited to meet you, to see you, to hang out with you, just to have fun. It's gonna be so fun. So yeah, this was day three of Vlogmas, and I will be resuming next Monday. I'll be vlogging when I, so I'll get back this Friday to New York, and I'll vlog all weekend, and it'll be an extra fun, one big, Vlogmas that will go up next Monday and then every day after that until the 16th So a little pause and I wasn't even gonna start until after the Texas shows But I was like December 1st through the 3rd like I'm here I did so many festive things it would have been a shame to not start vlogmas now So I love you guys go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn TikTok listen to the podcast gals on the go so you can keep up But I'll see you guys soon. Bye